it's your girl April. So today's video is going to be another try on. So guys, you know I love Zafu, I love Rose um, Wholesale, I love Dress Lily, I love Rose Gal, I love all of these sister affiliated sites because their clothing is so affordable. But there are some tricks to ordering from these sites. So the number one thing is make sure you're measuring yourself. Definitely if you want to get some clothes, okay? Make sure you measure yourself and for each garment of clothing that you're looking at, check the measurements because sizes do vary from garment to garment okay so definitely make sure you guys check that out and also some things say three days shipping some days some some days some things say processing three days processing five to ten processing seven to fifteen so I really try to get everything that has three day processing sometimes I can go out and get five to ten but I don't really try to get no seven to fifteen because I feel like when you do the seven to fifteen your stuff is never gonna come or it's gonna take like a couple of months so I always get everything like more or less three day processing or five to ten um, if you are ordering a bunch of stuff and you're not even looking at the dates and you're getting one here one day one day getting your stuff is gonna come at multiple times so that's why I always try to stick in one category for this haul, this is going to be from Dress Lily as well as from Zafu, which, like I said, are sister sites. You got to make sure to check out their huge cyber sale that they're having for Thanksgiving. They always got something going on, so make sure if you guys are not registered, go ahead and do so because they will send you, like, the discount codes off, and they always got, like, discount codes on their website. Um, the shipping is through, sometimes it's through DHL. depends on what you pick. You know what I'm saying? Um, DHL always ends up to be the free one. So it all depends on what you pick, um, and DHL is the fastest, so I always get DHL. For the dress lily part, I didn't get any clothes. I just got all the clothes that you're going to see me rocking from Zafu, but the wigs I did get from Dress Lily. So initially I ordered three wigs from Dress Lily, and they looked so cute on the website. Girl, I was just like, okay, I'm going to try these out. You know, I did have an issue before with the wigs from, I think it was Rose Wholesale or Rose Gal. And this was like a year ago. The wigs didn't look anything like the picture. But you know what? We're going to... It was a fun video though. So it really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? But the wigs are fairly, fairly cheap. So, you know, you cannot really expect them to look an, like exactly like the picture. Sometimes they may. Sometimes they may not. But we're going to try them on after I show you guys the haul. Okay. So the first thing we're going to start off with is the Zafu portion. And you guys know I love the shades. So I got some sunglasses. I only got two pairs this time because a majority of them I have like a load of sunglasses. So I thought these were adorable. Like, okay, they're very square and boxy shape. But I love the color of them. Um, they did come in like a black color and um like a matted black a white pair i think there was like another color i can't really be um honest to tell you what it was but these glasses are really hitting like okay i'm saying no these is so cute like these are really really cute i love the color of them they're more or less like that champagne kind of color they're all plastic frames i love when like the nose frames have these portions right here because you don't have to worry about you know oh my god it's what broken off or whatever this just makes life so much easier so i really do like these because they're so like boxy shaped and they're oversized and ugh, I'm saying. Am I slaying? Mm. The second pair that I got, which is just as cute because, you know, I love glasses and I love anything that's huge, um, are these. These have, like, the tortoise shell print at the bottom. And I like them because they kind of, like, gradually kind of, like, look like an ombre. They kind of, like, fade into the um, tortoise print or fade into the dark print. But I like the shape of them as well. My, my, my sunglass game, my shade game is going to be all types of hot levels for the season to come. Okay, I wear them all year round. It doesn't really matter. Um, I love shades. So, you guys, let's get into this portion, which is the Zafu try on. So, the first thing um, I'm going to show you guys, well, no particular order. So, the first thing that um, I have on, now, the, mind you, mind you, the top is not mine. I got this top from um, 
GS loves me. I wore this top for my event in New York. So I wanted to find something that would go with these pants. Now I really do like these pants. They are really stretchy. They do have a zipper on the right side. But the thing that I really like about them the most is the flare bottoms. Like I love the flare bottoms in these pants. They are so, so like trendy and kind of like, it reminds me of like something retro too, like from back in the day. So I really do like these pants. The only downfall is, um, they're so stretchy, but like I said, you have to really look at the sizes and the sizes was kind of off for this. So they're kind of big. Like if I would have looked like on a website, the size 4X was like a size 16 or 18. And sometimes you have to go up a size. So I'm hoping that these will shrink because I really, really do like them a lot. My girl, Passion Jones, she did a video recently, one of her try on hauls. And I'm so happy for her because she has been on her workout regimen and I'm so proud of her. So yes, if you guys don't watch her channel, you definitely do, but oh, you definitely need to. But she has lost so much weight and she's always been beautiful. Plus size, any size, she's always been beautiful. But I just seen her wearing these same pants, okay? And she got them from that new Kourtney um, Kardashian website. She had them in a long version and in a short version. And I was loving them when I seen them on her. Um, and it was so crazy because I was like, oh my God, I just got something like really similar to what she ordered. But these are a little bit too stretchy for me. So they're a little bit too big in the waist. And so just make sure that you measure yourself. Don't just listen and be like, go up two sizes. It doesn't work like that. So when I used to get stuff from these sites, they would never fit and I was just like, forget about it. But the key to it is measuring. So definitely make sure that you measure yourself, okay? So the next item that I have on is this, I think this is so cute. I've seen this many times on the website. I was finally like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. It is a 4X as well. Good thing it has elastic in the waist. The pants are so comfortable, like the material is so comfortable in this outfit. Like seriously, I love the color of the pink as well. It reminds me of like that Easter Easter pink, like baby doll pink. It's just so cute. And the baby doll shirt is just adorable. This is great for going to work, going to church, going out to eat. I mean, it's just like an all around suit. Fabric is so comfortable and it has like a nice stretch to it. I didn't realize that the pants actually have pockets in it. I did not even notice. Love pockets. I'm not really sure why, but I absolutely love pockets. There is like a fold, kind of like flat zipper, but I like these, like, I think this outfit is so cute, okay? And the purse that you see me rocking in this video is also from Zoffel, but from Zoffel, like, a year and a half ago for the most part this two-piece is so adorable so the next thing is this cute kind of like I don't really know if you want to call it a sweatshirt material because it's really not but opened front and sleeve shirt so I like this outfit a lot the pants that I have on are not from Zapple Zapple they're actually from Amazon um, so I do like this shirt a lot the cool thing about it is you can definitely go ahead and change the shoelaces out if you want. It does not come with shoelaces, but you can always go to like, you know, the Dollar Tree, Walmart. I like this shirt a lot. I got two of them, one for me and one for my daughter Tati. So this part right here, the neck part is a little bit tight on my neck. So I'm thinking that I might just kind of like, you know, cut it. So that way it doesn't, it doesn't like just, I just don't like stuff on my neck. But other than that, the shirt is made real well. The fabric, the material, whatever you want to call it, is made really good. So the next shirt is um, a size 2X as well. It's this fishnet shirt. Now it looked really cute on the model and trust and believe I like it on me too, but could they make the sleeves a little bit wider? Okay, so my arms were so tight in this fishnet sleeve shirt, like seriously. Um, but I do like it overall. I do think it's really cute. It's a double XL. I like the fact that it has a string right here so you could tie it. it. Well, you definitely need to tie it. But it has like the opening in the front. The other portion of the material is really good. Um, it's made good. It's made well. But I just think like the sleeves should have been a lot more um, looser because they are a little bit too tight. And then the pants that I have on in the video, first was my initial pants that I got from Amazon. And then the second pair were these leggings that I actually picked up from Zappo, which I was kind of disappointed about because the girl in the actual picture, the leggings were so tight and they fit just like leggings, like leggings, leggings, leggings. And for my size, it's at a 2X, but they're very loose 
and very short shorts. So they're like flat pants. They're not tight at the bottom. And I've had this issue with a lot of their leggings. Like they don't make them out of the, the right fabric, which is unfortunate because it's always something really cheap and see-through, you know what I mean? And it's just like, you know, they don't fit like leggings. They need to use like a spandex, spandex material that's a lot thicker. Okay, so I think this is like my favorite um, shirt out of all is um, this kind of like Indian kind of type of shirt. Um, I love this shirt. Now they had a variety of colors in this, but for some reason this blue one, it was like, oh, I gotta have this blue one. But the blue on the website was not as bright and pretty. So like the pictures did not do the shirt justice at all. It's just so pretty, like it has sequins on it. I love this shirt. Like I feel like it just goes so well with my, um, my hair. I just really, really do like this shirt a lot. It actually has a zipper on the side right here. So if you do plan on getting it, keep in mind it has a zipper so it makes getting into a lot easier. The size that I have is a 3X, but I like it, like it's made so well. Now the one thing that was kind of like threw me off for a loop was the jeans that I have on. So I didn't know they was going to be this short, like I thought they was going to be jeans like to the ankle, but for the most I do like them like this. So maybe they're supposed to be short like this, I don't really know because I, I don't I don't really know but I like them because they have a stretch to them okay so when you're getting jeans from like Zappu you best to get a jean with some stretch like because I have gotten jeans that's like just regular jeans with no stretch like I got a 3x and a 4x girl they did not fit I mean when I say they did not fit they were so tight I had to give them to my 15 year old and they was a three and a four X. So I go for the ones with the stretch. You can definitely tell which ones are stretched just by looking at the picture and zooming in. I like the distressed look in them. Have you noticed like all my jeans have like the distressed look in them? So the next shirt that I have one is this one right here, which I am in love with, okay? I love this shirt so much um, just because it's just comfortable, it's loose fitting. It reminds me of like a magazine and at first I wasn't gonna get it but then I was like, you know what, I'm about to get this shirt cause it's really cute. And it was like, I think they only had like two left and I was like, oh my God, I'm probably not even gonna get this shirt but it came and I was so happy. I love the openings on the sleeves and stuff. And I just like the shirt because it just goes cute with them jeans. I think it just goes so well with the jeans and it just it's just like a really, really like like casual shirt you know what I mean like really casual but it has like some flair to it so I definitely when the shirt comes back in stock I would definitely highly suggest picking this shirt up because now you girls know I love any kind of shirt that's off the shoulders honeys I love off the shoulder shirts so, I seen this and I was like first off I went past it then I went back because I was like wait a minute it's floral it's really cute Floral is in, it all depends on how you rock it. It's off the shoulder. I'm gonna make this look super cute. I got it in a 3X because all of the off the shoulder shirts that I pick up are always like a size 3X just because I really want it to be like off the shoulder. I want it to like hang. I think that it looks so sexy when it's off the shoulder, especially for my shoulder. I feel like I have, my left shoulder is my sexy shoulder. Like floral is in, like some people might not like the print. It may remind them of like an older person kind of print, but it's how you rock the shirt hunties. It's how you rock it, okay? This long cardigan um, is really cute. It's a size double XL, it's gray. They got them in white, pink, and like um, black. But I wanted to go with the gray, so I, like I said, I did get in a double XL. These are great, you could just wear this with just about anything. I love these like oversized or long, longer um, cardigans because they just go well with just about anything. Dress up, dress down. You could throw some sweats on with them. You could throw some joggers. You could throw some leggings, some dress pants, a dress, a skirt. Either way, these go with every single thing. I think like everybody should have a long cardigan, like a trench cardigan, definitely in their wardrobe because they just go so well with everything. But the one thing that kind of annoyed me about the cardigan was the sleeves were a little bit tight. And I'm pretty sure you guys can see that. And hopefully they can um, stretch out. Um, you know, their sizes run a little bit small. But I think like this cardigan is really nice. Like seriously, I like stuff like this. I have like quite a few of them in my closet and this one is kind of like perfect. But then I also got this here which was supposed to be a dress, this gray kind of like thing. And it was supposed to be a dress. It's cute to wear with some jeans or some shorts or even like some leggings. But 
I definitely wouldn't wear this as a dress. I do like the back though because it has a ribbon tie. So basically everything that I got, a lot of things that I got have ties. But I just didn't like the way it fit. It didn't kind of like hug my body. So it kind of made me look a little bit wider than I normally do. Um, it is thicker than most. It's made well. Like the fabric is made really well. The size that I got is a 4X. Um, and I just went by the garment sizing. So when I see what I mean, with it varies. So it's sometimes like a guessing game. But if you can look at the item of clothing and see like it's kind of like boxy like this, then you can definitely probably like get a size smaller. But I mean, for the most part, it's cute. It's casual. So I would definitely wear this. It has the pockets, which I like. I don't, I'm not going to put anything in the pockets, but I definitely am like a huge fan of pockets. And then the next, the last piece of clothing that you're not going to see me wear is these blue pants. So the girl on the website, they fit her to her ankles. The, the strings were all the way to her ankles. And when I got them, first of all, you have to lace them up yourself, which is freaking annoying. But they don't even go all the way to the bottom, okay? There's three opened. And they're high waters on me, and they're tight. So they were supposed to be like leggings. And this is a size um, 2XL, and they're supposed to be like leggings, but they're really not. Um, they're really, really kind of loose on me. I mean, tight on me, over tight on me, and they're very short. So I'm just going to give these to Mumsy because she can definitely fit these because she's a little bit shorter than me. She's probably like an inch and a half shorter, an inch and a half shorter than me. So these will work for her. They do, they're not see-through, so that's good, but yeah, I really wasn't a huge fan of them. So now it's time to get onto these wigs. All right, you guys, so keep in mind that um, these are synthetic wigs, and... I'm not really sure what they're called, the name of them are, um, because they don't have names, they just have SKU numbers. So this one right here, it really caught my eye and I thought it was so pretty on the website, especially from just the ombre look of it. And um, yes, it just looks so, so pretty and I was like, oh, I'm going to get that one. Now I knew the wig that they were showing on the website was a human hair wig. Um, because I had seen it around already like on AliExpress, but I figured like, okay, well, it can't be misrepresented that much, okay? So it's supposed to be a lace wig. Well, it looks very, very shiny. It's very, very shiny, okay? And the, um, the, the synthetic fibers look really like cosplay. The part in it, well, it's... Mm, I don't really know what you want to call that, but yeah. Now, the color on the website didn't really look like this. Um, here's the thing. You want to make sure that you comb this out before you put it on because you might be, like, snatching it off your head. So this is supposed to be a lace wig, okay? All right? It's supposed to be a lace wig because that's what it is described as on the website. There's no lace, like seriously, there is there isn't even a comb inside. There's an adjustable strap, but I don't really know if I want to put this as a middle part. I don't even know if I could squeeze this because well, at least you can like rip the hairs out of the part. Now I got my concealer. We're going to do this as like a side part because that's what I got going on right now. And because this is, because the way that this wig is set up, I, listen honeys. The way that this wig is set up, I'm not really trying to have so much attention to the middle, okay? Sometimes when you're talking to people, you know, people look at you and they give you that, you know, eye contact. So, they looking at you and they looking right at the middle of your wig like, girl, this is what they thinking. Oh my God, did she really just put that on her head? Who let this bitch go outside like that? So, I try to put them on the side. So that way, you're still giving me eye contact, and I can see you if you're going like this. Oh, yeah, girl, how you been? Why are you looking over there? I'm, I'm right here. Oh, so. okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. You ever get that synthetic hair, and it's like, baby, I am a star. Mm, let me brush down this wig a little bit. Oh yes, hunties. Hunties, listen. Now listen. The first thing that you need to do when wearing this wig, girls, 
is carry this brush with you at all times. Number one rule is to carry your brush because it's so plastic and synthetic like that it's going to tangle up. And that's not cool, especially when you're out and about and you know you're looking like you're on fleek, you about to be lit, and don't cat and listen, like I said, you're about to be lit. So if you smoke cigarettes, you don't want your hair to be lit neither. Because I'm pretty sure just the smoke from the cigarettes or the smoke from the hookah is going to catch this baby on fire. So, yes, and now the one thing that I would do definitely when wearing this wig. Yes, you might want to take the tag off, but we're just going to keep that on for now. You know what I mean? And then number two, hunties, the second thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a pair of shades at all times. You really don't want anyone to know who you are. I mean, like in this hair, you're a star, honey. They may think I'm Beyonce or something and like, I don't really want all of that attention brought to me. And then the second thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to have another pair of shades because I'm just saying, you definitely want to hide that part. You want to camouflage it. So, you know, if somebody's asking you, why do you have on a pair of shades and one on top of your head? Well, it's just in case I need to change my outfits. I've always got a pair of extra shades on me. Girl, I'm too legit and too lit to quit, honeys. I'm saying, make sure that you have two shades at all times. One for you and one for your wig. It's just tangling up as we speak. This don't look like anything from the website, like nothing at all like the one on the website. It just looks like a cosplay wig. Okay, so listen. This, well, no, because I was gonna say this is really good for like if you wanna role play with your man and stuff, then you will look like. But it gets so tangled that by the time you finish role playing, you ain't even got to the real stuff that it's balls up and like, you know, like that tumbleweed. So I'm just saying. Let's not. We're gonna go on to the next one. Um, this one has a bang. What though? For their synthetic wigs, you they they will give you some hair. All right, they will definitely give you some daggone hair. Now this one might work, okay? Because it got a bang, and the hair is not as bad as that one down there. So this one, I'm saying might. I didn't say it was going to. I'm saying might. All right now, Bob and Joe here. Yes, girls. I'm about to tell you the rules of the game of playing love. You got yourself a fine looking youngster, a man. Saddle him up, okay? Saddle him up. This is what you call real groovy hair. Bobby Joe, I got on my Bobby Joe wig. My full bang, honey. And I'm coming through, darling. Coming through, Bobby Joe. I know all the tips and tricks in the streets. You need any kind of a box, you can come see Bobby Joe. Uh-huh. Bobby Joe will teach you. Can you please tell me why? Just why? I look like a cheap hooker from the 1970s. I'm saying, I might have to keep this wig for role playing. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm thinking my husband might just like this. You know, sometimes we gotta look cheap, and this wig is definitely looking cheap. You know what though? The one thing about the wig is it's cheap, but it's full. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't even buy a good synthetic wig, um, for this price. For this price. You get in a lot of hair. I mean, it may not be the best hair. I think like if the hair was better, this wig may be workable. Maybe you could put some baby powder in it and you would be able to like finagle it and you'd be able to like rock it out. But um, it's a really nice cosplay wig, okay? And it's very full. And it sucks that when you buy wigs from like regular wig sites, you'll pay like $50 and you hardly have any hair or a bang. And it's like, 
Dang, but if you pay for something like this that's like $12 or something, you're getting all the bang and hair in the world. And it's like ridiculous. Like, okay. It just sucks that they turn out like this. Like, this, the pictures are so misleading. Um, And I guess, you know, you know, you have to work with them. This one is a lot better than the first one. Let's just be, just be real. Bobby Joe is looking a whole lot better than Beyonce. Okay, guys. So, I felt like I had to put my wig back on to end this video. So, as for Zafu and Dress Lily, definitely check out their clothing accessories. Um, with Dress Lily, they do cater to, like, home goods. Like, you know, you can find, like, those really cool tapestries, rugs. And you can find, like, basically everything on Dress Lily. And I really do like that style a lot because it's, like, everything is on it and it's super cheap. But also, Zafo, to me, I think is, like, the best in clothing out of all of them. Like, they all do have kind of, like, the basically the same things. But I think, like, Zafo is, like, my favorite. But either way, um, definitely check them out. They have loads of stuff. So if you want some nice clothes, definitely take the time out and sit there and go through all the pages. Because I'm telling you guys, their clothing is really, really inexpensive, affordable, and they're cute. You just got to check your sizes out. And their sunglasses are to die for, like I'm saying. Honey, a girl definitely is in love with these. But make sure you measure yourself and check the time frame for processing. But also check out their cyber sale that they're going to be having for Thanksgiving. I'm pretty sure you guys do not want to miss out on this and register for their website. So I do apologize if this video was so long. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in a soon to come video.